Let's now get to the latest from Greece, which has put its armed forces on alert after Turkey sent a survey ship to a disputed area of the Mediterranean Sea. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has warned of, and I quote, a heavy price if a Turkish vessel is attacked in the disputed Mediterranean waters. He also hinted that one incident had already occurred. Listen in. Ve kendilerine söyledik. Bak bizim oruç reisimize sakın ha saldırmayın. Eğer oruç reisimize saldıracak olursanız bunun bedelini ağır ödersiniz dedik ve bugün ilk cevabı aldılar. Erdogan did not provide any details on the suggested attack, but the Greek Prime Minister has vowed that the Turkish provocation, that is what he said, will not go unanswered, and that the responsibility for any escalation now lies with Turkey. According to him, the risk of an accident lurks when so many military assets are gathered in such a contained area. Ας τον ορίζουν όλοι. Ο κίνδυνος ατυχήματος καροδοκεί όταν συγκεντρώνονται τόσες στρατιωτικές δυνάμεις σε περιορισμένη έκταση. Και την ευθύνη σε μια τέτοια περίπτωση θα την έχει εκείνος που προκαλεί τις συνθήκες αυτές. Παραμένουμε σταθεροί στην προσήλωσή μας στη διεθνή νομιμότητα και στη δύναμη της διπλωματίας να επιλύσει ακόμα και τα πιο σύνθετα ζητήματα. Δεν θα είμαστε ποτέ αυτοί που πρώτα οξύνουμε τα πράγματα. Όμως η αυτοσυγκράτηση είναι μόνο η μία όψη της ισχύω μας. This warning came as Turkey started surveying for energy resources in an area claimed by both Ankara and Athens. Greece has now sent its naval vessels to the area in response to the Turkish deployment of its own fleet. Earlier, Turkey said that it would not back away from its search activities and that it plans to issue new exploration licenses for the area. This, despite the escalating dispute with Greece over drilling rights. Greek Foreign Minister Nikos Dendias and U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo will be meeting in Vienna today to discuss the tensions in the eastern Mediterranean. Let's now.